This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. So, a low mass star is considered any star that's less than eight solar masses, like our Sun. Our Sun finds it impossible to reach the 600 million Kelvin threshold and begin to burn carbon at its core. What happens instead is uh, as the carbon and oxygen in the core uh, collides with other carbons and oxygens, the electrons in the carbon and the oxygen actually start to bang into each other. This is known as electron degeneracy pressure, or EDP. The electrons actually re refuse to get any closer together. They repel each other. And they create a situation where the outer layers keep getting pushed out by the shells, and they sort of expand out, forming a, a diffuse cloud of material called a planetary nebula. So our sun will sort of shed its outer layers in the form of something called a planetary nebula, a cloud of, of dust and gas that sort of expands away. And they leave behind this core of carbon and oxygen held up not by fusion pressure, but by electron degeneracy pressure. We call this very hot object, this object that couldn't quite reach 600 million Kelvin, a white dwarf. It is white hot. In fact, it shows up on the HR diagram right over here. So these objects just sort of shed away, they don't explode, and they leave behind these dwarf objects, which are hot and dim. In fact, a white dwarf has a maximum size of about 1.4 solar masses. That's as much as it will leave behind. That's called the Chandrasekhar limit, named after the uh, scientist from India who was able to calculate this and win the Nobel Prize for it. Astoundingly, this white dwarf is incredibly hot to begin with, but then cools off with time. It is incredibly dense. This ball of carbon and oxygen, maybe not unlike a diamond floating in space, 1.4 solar masses in size, about the size of the Earth in diameter. And just to give you a sense of the density, this object is so dense that one teaspoon of a white dwarf, kind of a weird unit, would weigh 10 tons. So that's where we end up. We end up with this cooling object, this expanding planetary nebula, and one teaspoon worth is 10 tons for this white dwarf that masses out at 1.4 solar masses. The obvious question is, what happens if you get to be bigger than 8 solar masses? We'll talk about that next.